The president of EFF, Julius Malema, was visiting the EFF branch on uh, Subukeng where he gets to launch the cleaning up campaign which the EFF branches they are assigned to do this year. Well, before they get even to start doing this campaign, he had to address all the fighters who arrived around uh, that side of uh, Subukeng and this campaign was taking place in Zone 13. He had to deliver a message. Before we even get to discuss more, I'm inviting you first to have listen what the president of EFF had said, then we'll come back for that. We are not here today to give speeches. I'm actually shocked that there are buses here because all we wanted was the people of Zone 13 bag it clean early and clean after themselves and teach the government of the ANC that it is possible to clean because they don't know how to clean after themselves. So when you clean after yourself, you don't go calling people with buses. To come and clean after yourself. You launch a campaign with the people who come from there. Because you don't want a rented mob. It has to be authentic. It has to be legitimate. It must be constituted by people who are directly affected by this dumping area. So we are here to say to the people of Sibuking and Zone 13 in particular, you can clean after yourself and teach this government of Infuleni, of Haute, that it is possible for black people to stay in a clean place. Yes, Malema, who was addressing uh, the EFF members in uh, Sibukeng, where they had to take, uh, I mean, to participate in this cleaning campaign, you know, and uh, it's been for some times now that uh, the EFF and the uh, its leadership, they've been uh, talking about these things of cleaning up because they believe that uh, um, it should be something that uh, should be planted in the mind of South Africans so that each and every weekend, especially on Saturdays, we have to do f certain things on our own without expecting the authorities, local authorities, I mean to say, to come and do it for ourselves and you know recently i was listening to julius malema he mentioned something that i found very useful and very interesting uh, for most of uh, people out there because you know sometimes we don't really uh, need to always keep on waiting for someone to do something from uh, for us when we know that we have two ends when we know that we are in good health conditions that we can get to do these things for ourselves so it is very important that we get to change these mentalities you know of where you get to see something or find something which is looking more beautiful instead of you maintaining it try to bring also what you can do in your power in order for you to maintain these things to last forever instead you kind of like looking at it and say that okay by the way, that is not mine. It is this is the public or state belongs. So I don't care if it can't uh, spoil it. It can be the state or the local government will get to come and fix, or they'll come and come uh, try to pay people to come and uh, uh, and solve this problem. The moment we still have this kind of mentalities, that is the reason why you guys get to see today we're even having portals all over the roads because you get to see that there is a portals something which is very small in the meantime the local government come and solve this problem or solve or try to uh, fix this bot, uh, portal you as a person you could even go inside your yard and try to look for some rubbles and fill up these portals but instead you keep on driving through those portals you keep on making it them big you keep on even damaging it more because you know that uh, this is not my road, it is a government road, therefore it is the responsibility of the government to come and participate in all this and fix it. And the next things we know, you'll get to criticize the um, ruling government, saying that they're not doing good, they came here, they asked for our votes, and yet they are not trying to do their jobs. But 
you don't understand, you don't get to ask yourself a question to know what have you done on your side? How did you participate in all this road damage? These portals, is it only the government vehicles that get to pass through that uh, these roads? No. Obviously, you have also the responsibility to play in it because we get to see people that we become more lazy when it comes to um, maintain what the state or the government is organizing for us. We are so lazy to the point of having this mentality in our mind of saying that no, this is not mine. This is a public area. This is what, what, what. Therefore, I don't care. You go in the shop, you buy a sweet, you finish eating the sweet. Instead of you searching for a dustbin where you can throw the plastic of this sweet, no. What you do? You throw it wherever you feel like throwing it. You drink water in the bottle, you throw it wherever you feel like uh, throwing it. Especially in the public place, we can't even talk about it. So, these are something that somehow, whether we like it or not, we need to be educated. We need to be told that it's not good for our health. We need to be told that the more we keep on dumping this uh, dustbin all over, we are busy destroying our health slow by slow because these things most of them they are not be useful these are the things which are rotten these are the things which you don't need to keep even in your house these are the things which smell very bad that is the reason why we get to throw them inside the dustbin but when it is out there since the government is not doing much about it what about you what you supposed to do obviously we supposed to be doing something and here without a really um having a sight or what but i have to agree with the initiation which the eff they have took uh, took on this part because it is something that will really benefit everyone but one of the things i like in that uh, speech which the president of eff uh, julius malema had given it was when he had to give the example of saying that uh, um we don't need to wait for jesus christ to come and do this cleaning up for us we are not christians he says in one of his videos that we are not christians therefore we don't need to wait for jesus christ to come and do these things for us we have to do it on our own we have to participate and try to clean and even go far to say that we don't need trying to unveil the uh, apartheid government on how they used to maintain the, the, the street of Johannesburg or the building, long building and doing all those kind of things. Because these people actually, they were just sitting somewhere and sending someone so that this person will come and build and clean the street. And this person was your grandfather's, was, was your, your grandmother's, was a black child who was being used in order to produce all these things. So if the black child have done, if they have managed to do all this, which means we're still capable of doing it again. So why stopping today? All because you want to rely on the government, which is not even able to uh, provide you with everything that you need, especially the necessary basic, daily necessary basic things that they have every each government is supposed to be providing for you. They're failing to do so. So why should we keep on continuing doing all, uh, counting on them when you are being exposed to sickness? While your life, you are putting it in danger. While your health is being exposed to the all sort kind of uh, sickness. So, for me, I really totally agree with him on that. It really makes sense. And I think this uh, initiation can go all over. This should be something not about EFF or not about ANC. This should be something that every citizen of this country should take that and try to consider it. If you get to see a certain area in your neighborhood where things they don't seem to be normal, you don't need to sit down. Instead, you can either recruit some uh, youth in your neighborhood and come with them and try at least to, uh, to do this cleaning around. In the meantime, because that would be also another way of sending a loud and strong message to the uh, local government that... They are not doing enough because citizens are now doing what they're supposed to be doing as a job. 
you motivate them and you get to see the government to become even more serious as well they'll start working hard so guys it is very 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 important that uh, we get uh, to really consider this message it does not have color because it's something that concerns all of us but in his message as he was busy uh, giving this uh, speech he obviously uh, get to speak again about the uh, 20th, uh, 20th of march uh, about the national shutdown obviously and as i told you in one of our videos that uh, um this um, EFF and with Julius Malema uh, from the moment where he had called for the national shutdown guys trust me all the opportunity that will be given to the EFF members all the platform that uh, Julius Malema will have to have uh, an opportunity to speak trust me he will always com uh, campaign for this shut uh, national shutdown he will always keep on reminding people you always tell people and preparing them because this national uh, national shutdown it is something that it will really show how strong the EFF they can be it will really mo demonstrate and send a loud message to the world about the EFF so if they can fail then which means obviously it will be a very big defeat from their side but at the same time we need to consider and look what are the reasons that this national shutdown should take place and obviously in his message he spoke about how the the ruling government uh, they, they, they have failed they are not doing enough there's a lot of things too much things he spoke about palapala he spoke about unemployment he spoke about a lot of things crimes which is trending now all over the country he had to speak about all these things because he needs to motivate people so that people will have a good reason why they should come because at first it was all about load shedding and palapala pala, but he had to come and involve a couple of things which according to him as the lead of EFF they believe that is that these things are not working properly so we are here we will see how things will go we'll be back again here and get to tell you exactly how everything will go thank you so much for watching this video um please don't leave before you give us your thumbs up follow us subscribe to the channel we'll really do appreciate uh comment down below tell us also what you think about what we are discussing uh especially about this speech that uh, the president of eff had given when he was uh, launching uh, the cleaning campaign so we'll really do appreciate that but above all continue to be yourself be good be kind have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected may god bless you all i'll see you again very soon ciao ciao Thank you.